So my girlfriend got drunk. It was a few nights ago and I want to tell you guys the story of what happened. And I want to talk to you about the lessons that I can actually teach you through observing another person get drunk, somebody that I really love, someone that, that I really care about. There are a few things that I picked up that I really want to share with you guys. So recently we've moved to Koh Samui and, and I've told you before in other videos, we're now living on an island of Thailand because in Chiang Mai, the air quality is really bad. So we've come out to Koh Samui to get this villa, have a good time for a few months. Uh, and one of our buddies is here as well called Cam. And Cam has a business, he's called Game Quitters. He helps people with video game addiction. He's a good friend of mine. And he invited us over to his place and his, his, his girlfriend had cooked this beautiful food. It was all these wings and these ribs and this nice salad and fruit and all this nice food. And we went and we had this great meal uh, and my girlfriend started having a drink. Now my girlfriend drinks, but it's very rare. And I've never actually seen her drink this much before. So, you know, we, we had the food, had a good time, had a laugh, whatever. And then we sat by the pool outside. Uh, and then my friend's uh, girlfriend called Joy starts pouring these, uh, these glasses of wine for, for my girlfriend. And my girlfriend's drinking away. Like they were just kind of tormenting me a little bit, like putting the wine in my face and stuff like that. And I'm just like, oh, right, yeah. Huh. And there was not one point where I said to myself, oh, I'd love to have one of these glasses of wine right now. And the difference is, is in the past when, if I had gone out with a, you know my partner and, and, and she was drinking and I was not drinking, you know, during the 10 years of all these attempts to stop drinking, every time I, I went out, I would have looked at my girlfriend at the time and had this envy and just wished that I could have a few drinks as well because I've sacrificed something, I've given something up. This is this is, this was what my mindset used to be. I used to believe that every time that I stopped drinking, I was taking away this amazing thing. So every time I saw somebody else drinking it, I thought that I was missing out. I thought that I was sacrificing something. So, you know, this, 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 this was the cycle that I was stuck in, stuck in for such a long time. So when I'm with my girlfriend, uh, you know, we're by the pool and they're drinking wine and, and laughing and joking and whatever. And I'm still laughing and joking. I'm still having a good time, right? But it doesn't mean that I want to put poison in my body. It just makes no sense because it does nothing for you. And, you know, I, I can't change the world. I can only kind of change people that want to change, right? I can only teach people first principles thinking when they've had enough and they want to stop. So whilst my girlfriend is kind of bought into the illusion and she knows what I do, you know, she, she understands the content and stuff like that. She still wanted to drink and I'm not going to stop her. And it's not my job to stop her, right? It's my job to share information to people who want to listen to it, right? She's she's in like stage one. She'd be on before stage one of drinking, right? She has a drink maybe every few months and might have one drink. And this, this was the most I've ever seen a drink in like almost two years of being together. And anyway, the point is, is that I wanted nothing to do with that. And the reason why is because I now view alcohol in a completely different way. The 10 years before, it was always viewing it as something that I was giving up, that I was removing. And now I realize that there was never anything to give up, right? The people that drink, including my girlfriend, they are buying into an illusion that alcohol is actually enhancing their night. They're buying into the illusion that alcohol is helping them be more sociable and helping them talk better. And really, I was doing the exact same thing as them without drinking a destructive drug that does nothing for you, right? And then I remember like driving home and I've never seen my girlfriend like this before, but she's like, she gets home and she just wanted to sleep and she was just kind of like low mood and it wasn't happy. She was happy while she was there because that is the happy part, right? Being with your friends, having a joke, having a laugh, fooling around, that is fun, whether you're drinking or not. But I was having a great time then as well. The difference was when I came home, she wanted to go straight to sleep. I was like trying to shake her and like, you know, I, I, I wanted to keep talking and, and hanging out, but she was gone, right? She just like, I don't want to speak around. But I, I was like, I've had the good time and I came home and I'm still fresh and I wake up in the morning and I'm still fresh. And she woke up the next morning, like wanted to drink water. She wasn't hungover or anything. She really didn't drink that much. But it was just very interesting to observe. And it was interesting to kind of do this introspection. I really wanted to share it with you guys because I'm sat there and I'm thinking, I'm making a video about this tomorrow. Like I'm going to make a video about this and share it with you guys. Because there really is nothing in drinking alcohol. Do not buy into the illusion. My girlfriend fell for it. All of them fell for it. And when they left the party and she just wanted to sleep, it just kind of hit me. I was like, so there was really no need to drink that alcohol because you would have had a good time anyway. And then you, you come home and go to sleep. Like, well, well, it just makes no sense. There is no point. Anyway, guys, just want to share that with you. If you do want my help stopping drinking, if you want to go through that first principles approach and have help building a life without alcohol, make sure to click the link in the description. There's a short video to watch and then you'll be able to book a call. And if you click the videos on the screen now, you can learn more about a bit about anxiety and alcohol as well as the one thing that got me to stop drinking. Thanks a lot.